Okay guys, welcome to video two uh, of quick and dirty understanding of composition and the elements of design. The second one we're gonna do is combining vertical and horizontal lines. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's spin around and have a little look at some examples there on the computer. Again, just looking through some random collections of my photos. I think this one's a really strong and obvious, a really simple example of the use of the combination of horizontals and verticals. The horizontals are very, very clear. It's of course the tree trunks, the pine trunks. Then you got a very strong horizontal, a vertical, beg your pardon, going across, just um, filling the, the bottom third here. And that combination gives the, the image a very strong visual effect, okay? Just another little um, couple of things here which were deliberate parts of the composition when I composed it, when I made this, this image. Um, I did purposely uh, align myself so that I had this one piece of bracken which is acting like a, a triangle, like an arrow, leading us and directing us through the image. And it's taking us to these, these one uh, example of a crossed pair of trunks right down here in the center of, of the image. Okay, so not only have we got um, some thoughts about the overall composition using a particular uh, element of design, which is the use of horizontals and verticals. But we've added in a few other little, uh, little secret bits in there as well, just to complement the image um, a little bit more broadly. And I think often it's the use of trees and horizon, which covers this particular um, uh, method of horizontals and verticals. Again, horizontal down here and three verticals, a use of three. Um, I'm a big proponent of using three. I think it's a wonderful number to use in composition. Um, even things like this, if you've got, this is a famous shot of one of the famous places in the Lake District, Durant Water. Normally most people shoot down through this uh, jetty. Um, not for me, I try to do something a bit different. What I'm trying to do here is use this leading line directing to this, this particular point here. But again, we've got hard horizontals and a collection, a repetition of verticals, look. So again, just using what's in front of us, but trying to use it uh, in a particular way to emphasize something. I'm trying to think, find some other quick examples, some are not so obvious, again, horizontals and the verticals there in the background with the fence, combining the two. And sometimes I was gonna say it's not as so obvious. Let's just have a look at this one, okay? got a strong horizontal of the horizon which is so often the horizontal in these sort of examples but we've got a very strong vertical right down the center of the image as well okay and this one also incorporates other use of shape which I'll so I'll probably use this one again in the future maybe you can see the use of triangle here for directing us through the image as well all right so that's the use of horizontals and uh, verticals and it's as short and sweet as I promised I hope that helps you understand what that that looks like and um, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.